اللهم إنك عفو تحب العفو فاعف عنا اللهم إنك عفو تحب العفو فاعف عنا اللهم إنك عفو كريم تحب العفو فاعف عنا اللهم إنا نسألك الهدى والتقى والعفاف والغنى اللهم أسعدنا بتقواك واجعلنا نخشاك كأننا نراك اللهم آت نفوسنا تقواها وزكها أنت خير من زكاها أنت وليها ومولاها اللهم إنا نسألك خشيتك في الغيب والشهادة وكلمة الحق في الغضب والرياء Hello everyone, welcome to Spice 24. My name is Safiya Umar, as usual your guest. But today on Spice 24, it's not business as usual. Today we're not talking classy, we're not talking fashion, we're not talking style. This is in solidarity to the demise of one of our own, um, that's um, Bilya Aminu, a son to the former chairman of PDP and a former minister of defense of Nigeria. Um, and the issue today will be discussing social media, its positivity and of course negativity and effects on the lives of people. And that's why we have with us in the house, brilliant and beautiful intelligent minds that will be discussing on this topic today. In the house we have um, Abdul Adar Kabir, who is a media uh, content creator. And we have um, uh, Mubarak Yaya Abakar, he's uh, an architect and a media consultant. And of course we have in the house with us a beautiful and on air personality, on air personality, as you say, Khadija um, Yakubo. Please welcome to the show, this beautiful mind, so we can have this discourse on. Welcome, guys, and thank you for joining us on the program today. Thank You're you very much. You. Yeah, I know Khadija is going to be one person that will say, Oh my god, why is Sophia not smiling today? <laughs> but seriously, Khadija, you're Baranam, Daria Beni Samsam. The news of Bilya's demise came to me as a shock yeah. and I was so surprised. I was just imagining and I was wondering how can someone actually kill someone you call a husband? So uh, it's actually influenced our topic for today and that's why we're going to be talking um, social media. And we don't mind, I would like to start with Abdul Kader Kabir. Um, what is actually your take on this issue? We're actually looking at what could be the possible reasons for a wife to stop her husband? Well, before I delve into that, I can say that there is no justification for murder. Mm -hmm. sure. Religiously, uh, yeah. uh, socially, legally, or otherwise. Uh, we try to live under a set fixed code. Mm -hmm. We have our norms, we have our values, but we are all created differently. And True people have various reasons for justifications about what they do or why they do them. So, uh, based on experience, when it comes to marital issues, it's a very, very complicated thing. There are no absolute blacks or whites. It's a gray area. Mm. And crimes of passion are usually the result of a domestic life that has n no amount of bliss in it. So, uh, I feel that whatever happened, whatever her reasons were, I feel they were wrong. Madam Mubarak, what's your take on this? I feel the same thing. I feel her reasons are wrong and there is nothing that a man will do for you to throw away your life to do such a thing. You have to have a life, you have to have purpose, you have to have goals, you have to have a reason why you're here and throwing all that away because of infidelity or anything, it's not, uh, it's not a reason, it's not a justified motive for you to commit such a crime. Mm. I think it's totally wrong. And in as much as we're not actually accepting infidelity as a yardstick exactly. for we're not saying okay it's okay to um have <laughs> issues of unfaithfulness and marriages Imagine. as well but then it shouldn't be a yardstick for anyone to have a soul thinking sure, sure, sure. i i think i think i think what she did was barbaric it's 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 really not acceptable there's no it way. shouldn't be acceptable yes it, she shouldn't go that way Moreover, she's his, she's his wife. There's a way she can actually speak to him as a wife to get to know what 
uh, or solve the problem if they have any issues together. Mm -hmm. But if she can go that wild and violent, I think uh, it's not an attitude or, uh, or behavior that should be accepted by any other any person, mm -hmm. irrespective of a religion mm -hmm. or social class. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, in as much as we know it is not reason, it's not justifiable for anyone to take a soul just because of some other reasons, yeah. yes, we know. But then we're actually looking at the possible causes because we're trying to relate this to social media. Could it be that somehow, somewhere, we could um, be trying to look at what possible causes, reasons, do you think she might have had to make such an offence, to create such an offence? Yeah. In as much as we are not trying to justify any reasons for her to commit murder, yeah. but then we're actually looking at what possible causes. Could it be as a result of too many movies? Could it be as a result of reading too many books? Could it be as a result of the kind of things we see today on social media? Yeah. Or what do we think? We need to hear the different opinions and views of people where we actually think could have been the reason why Mariam Sanda actually did what she did. Well, I think before you bring social media into the mix, I think it has to do with the nature of a person. Okay. I believe there are, just like there are domestic animals and wild animals, I feel there are wild and domestic people. Okay. And some people are not meant to be tamed in the sense that they are not meant to live in, in domestic bliss. They want to be free, they want to do whatever they want. Mm -hmm. And when you take someone like that and you put them in a marriage, it's like a caged animal and there is nothing more violent than a cornered animal. It's very true. And it just takes some time before that nature comes up. Mm -hmm. uh, when it comes to social media, social media when we didn't have social media, there was no room for ease of infidelity. True. Yeah. Yes. Very true. But social media has made infidelity extremely easy and has made people susceptible. Yeah. Because I feel, even regardless, there is a code in life. Men are supposed to live by it. Women are supposed to live by it. If you're a married man, you're supposed to have respect for yourself and you're supposed to understand that whatever you do doesn't ex affect only you mm. because you're living for two people you if you have true. a wife mm -hmm. or you're living for maybe if you have children you're living for, for them mm -hmm. and whatever you do reflects on that person yeah and it has a ripple effect so as a man you don't respect yourself you're engaging in extramarital affairs yes. Whatever your reasons are, they're inconsequential. Marital affairs are wrong. But like I said, when it comes to crimes of passion, even an affair is a crime of passion. Yeah, an affair it's is not, a crime yeah, of passion it's because not only, you're going to be hurting somebody in the midst. Yeah, it's not only when you kill someone or you attack someone. An affair is a crime of passion and the heart is a very weak thing. Mm -hmm. Even if you can justify yourself, oh, my wife is not giving me what I want, she's not being caring and whatsoever there are more matured ways to deal with it you don't want to live life is simple we tend to complicate it you don't want to That's live with true. someone get a divorce you don't love someone tell them i think it would be easier than coming together and wasting Tolerating, each other's time yeah, yeah. trying to Ruin put lives. everything in years yes. yeah and, and when you get to a point that you can't take it anymore then you explode yeah and when it comes to women like I said, they have become more susceptible when it comes to social media. Like I said, when I was growing up, we had a quote, marriage, married women are off limits. Like, I don't know. I don't think it's the same now. Yeah. I doubt that. Yeah. I don't know what society has turned into that. It's a token of pride Still for a young married, guy uh, to be with married women. To be with yeah, a married I, women. Yeah. Which is disturbing because I don't know what our children are going to come and meet in this society where nothing is sacred anymore. <laughs> yeah, sure. So, so well, nothing uh, is sacred anymore. I think, I feel if a woman is going to be faithful to you, nothing on earth will make her unfaithful. Yeah. Nothing. Mm. You can be the worst husband in the world. So it's a thing of a mind. So yeah, uh, yeah it's a mindset. Yeah, it's actually a, mindset. a personal thing. Yeah, yes. it's a yeah. mindset. Yeah. And if a woman wants to cheat on you, if you like lock her in the highest tower, she will, she will she still will. cheat on you. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's not about social media. It's about people being people. Okay. Yeah. 
I don't think social media is to blame about infidelity <laughs> or <laughs> propagation of infidelity, infidelity or propagation of extramarital affair. I just think it's people being people. And that is the unfortunate thing in this situation. Yeah. Yeah. Mubarak? I, I, I basically think, um, like you said, movies and stuff like that, and they taught, tend to like infuse a, sen a mindset in us that makes us do things that we tend to see and we think we can get away with it. And you just, they, so you know sometimes movies make you feel like this is alright to do. This is alright to do, this is comfortable, this is okay. <laughs> but they are not. There are things we see how to get away with murder, how to do this, how yeah. to do this, women killing their husbands and stuff like that, women beating their husbands and stuff like that. All those things, we see them and then they tend to be a part of us and now the society we're in is, I have to say this, the, the end is near. We like, tend to see like things, 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 things we do yeah, now. Like exactly, about, yeah. the end is near. Things people do now are scary, and these things have actually been happening for a long while. But now we get to know because uh, it's coming out from an elite family. Mm -hmm. Women have been killing their husbands. Husbands have been murdering their wives in the low class in the villages, and people don't care about it. But now it's happening in an elite family, and it's coming out there, and people are knowing about it. At least maybe now there's an awareness, and there's a way we could probably team it or try to try to but help Mubarak in as much as I want to disagree with you I just believe even if it's been happening in the Adit family I think this is the first time we're actually having this a kind fearless of mother yeah. thank you I, that's the word that's the well, word they're, they're, yeah, they're, they're, smarter. they're smarter they're smarter she's they're smarter she has an education she has watched a lot of movies, movies yeah, she, has, she knows how to t t go about it <laughs> you know you're not <laughs> the, the truth is um I we actually condemn what she has done and as far as I'm concerned in my own opinion I feel the civilization that we call that we are in now mm. and the social media actually contributed to this because um it's a thing of a pride for ladies to see herself like someone who's been, who's been civilized or have actually schooled abroad I have certain knowledge and I, I can do this and go away with it, you understand? So all those kind of things we get, we do that the kind of um, knowledge we didn't get when we were growing up or what our fathers didn't get but now the, glo the civilization is becoming something else instead of it to be humanly civilized and become modest mm -hmm. you become violent we watch things on films on movies hollywood films vampire movies and you understand those kind of things and secondly i feel i feel i feel there's this uh, influence of drugs and oh, this act you could actually be something like a psychological problem as far as I'm, I'm, I understand, I go with what he's saying about yeah. as in a mindset and it has to be maybe some people are wild and some are domesticated, you get. But still, there are other influences, other environmental influence. She's actually maybe has, has gotten some kind of, just like what Mbarak said, she has actually gone, to maybe watched a movie. Some dose of you understand? That and you feel, yeah, I can do it. She can, or maybe she wanted to practicalize something. And she, because sickly. number one, and secondly, as she's a woman, we can't take jealousy out of from a lady. We, all women are actually very jealous when it comes to this stage, but um, she took it so far and I don't know where she got the idea that that will actually solve the problem. You understand? Has Killing the girl was, so, it has never solved the and problem. And again, this whole misinterpretation of feminism, of being, whether it's doing your rights or, yes, I think or, it's, or being equal to yeah. a man, has made women now think that they, before women will actually, this kind of things happen and they actually like, okay, I'm going to be uh, uh, patient, I'm going to, they handle it more, and now they think they're equal, they can just challenge the man, fight the man, and get their justice and themselves, then, you know, it's yeah, wrong. Right, you know. In Fair other right, ways, you know, uh, in other, as, like, before now, before we grew up, we ha our parents had gone through a lot, yeah. our mothers were beaten in the house, in our beaten. presence, you understand, it has never been a problem, and they stayed. the mother stayed. They only go at the end at the, at the end of the the, the 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 situation. They go back to the fathers and beg them for forgiveness, even after beating I them. That is how a, I feel. I feel a woman should always be submissive at all costs. You shouldn't be feeling you have this power over a man. Maybe because he is the quiet type, just like you said. Maybe he's the domesticated human being, mm -hmm. and that's why you you're the wild person. And you want to be. You want to show that dominating spirit. You understand. Mm -hmm. So I think. Um, we actually left our tradition. Mm -hmm. We're moving with the modern world and mm -hmm. it's getting driving us really crazy. crazy. Yes, that's true. Personally, I think that women have actually um, 
misunderstood what it means to be submissive and yes. what it means by demanding your rights. We're not saying you should stay in your husband's house if he's beating you, couldn't see make you or anything. No. no. But you need to be submissive. Just because you're a career woman, you go out, you work, you think, okay, now I couldn't nice that you can actually fend I can fend yes. for myself. It doesn't make anything. If we even go by religious standards, Islam actually says a woman should be submissive at all costs, all costs. whatever it is. And then me personally for me, in my own opinions, I think if Miriam hasn't gone through her husband's son, like it was said from the yes, news, yes. Oh God, that it was uh, as, a result, uh, as a result of the text message she, got, uh, she read from her husband's phone, which was reading infidelity, blah, 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 blah. That's why she did what she did. So personally, I think that because you're looking at yourself, mm, you're educated, yeah. you have the right to know what and your husband abroad, is doing. And you, you understand? <laughs> you have the right to see what is, um, who is talking with on phone, and you screen through his phone and you see that shit. Look for I don't know how it is, but the truth of the matter is, 70% of times that you go through your spouse's phone looking for something, you get to see that thing. You, you get to see that thing. Sure. So in my own opinion, I was like, if she hadn't gone through his phone, his phone, she probably wouldn't have seen anything. And she probably wouldn't have gotten to that extent where she's going to go out of her way and get the rage of anger and do what she Sefia, did. you know something? It's high time for we ladies to understand the fact that men are polygamous in nature. Even in our religion, Islam religion actually, have actually given uh, the men rights to actually add more than one wife. You understand? Mm -hmm. If that is in your heart, I think you should be happy that your husband actually wants to even get another wife to the house. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. If you, you, get, you get that because if you have that in your heart, you wouldn't have this my house as not your breaking issue. You understand? Issue, but just, because I don't believe she was not his first wife, was she? No, no she no. wasn't from the news we got. They she, she wasn't the first wife. She so, so practically, that means when she was dating the guy? Yes, she was actually a mistress. Good. And secondly, she should understand that she's a mother. And we are coming to a, the, uh, to a, a, a play, uh, sorry, to a, a stage in this world where women are becoming more populated, as in the world is becoming more populated with women than men. Men. You get? That's so true. definitely there will be a, chance, a, a, a stage where a man has to be with more than a wife. Mm. And have, maybe she, she, I think she'll have just a baby girl. Yeah, just a baby and girl. Just, a she, doesn't, she, doesn't, she has not thought of the fact that one day her daughter would actually be the second wife of another man. So I'm I not think thinking she thought of all that. If if the man is actually going up as in she actually felt the man is being unfaithful to the marriage, she as she should assume he's trying to get another wife. Mm. And accept that because that is what the religion has actually ordained. Because the and truth of the matter is, is the first wife, the truth of the matter is if the first wife has actually killed him, she wouldn't have married him. Because we believe or we heard that he was still with his first wife while he was dating her. Yes. And she was actually instrumental from what the comments and everything that kept going on the social media. That she was instrumental to him divorcing his first wife before he could marry Sorry, her. what happened to divorce now? As in, you can simply leave the marriage. What, why do you have to kill somebody and ruin a lot of lives? You ruin your parents' lives, you ruin the Put kids' lives, you ruin the family the, and all that. his parents' lives, because, everybody's you lives. Know, Mubarak, you know what happened? After when the incident happened yesterday, um, my husband got a call and then the first question someone asked my husband, I could hear them over the phone, was like, so you know the stigma she's placed on her family already. Exactly. People are not going to people are asking questions. So where is she from? Family, where is she from? So people are looking at some people are looking at terabia, I mean the discipline that comes with it and all that. So now tell me, for the love, for the love of Bello Haliro alone. People who are actually doing businesses with her, with her father before now will cease to do businesses with him. Yeah. Not because of anything, because the daughter, yeah, the, the daughter has actually committed a heinous crime. So you get those kind of things. You, you don't even think of the stigma that comes with this kind of thing. So what do you guys think about the discipline? Does it really have to be no, with Tarifia? Before you get to the discipline, I think there's this issue which is particular to women. Like you said, issue like Kishi. Yeah. Uh, Kishi makes women do really stupid things. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, whenever a woman is faced with the, f the, the prospect that her husband is interested in another woman, maybe I'm a man, I don't get how women think, but uh, I feel like a woman should try her possible best to keep her husband's attention on her 
So yeah. maybe this girl or woman she should, should have asked herself what was she doing Wrong. not Wrong. right okay. or what was she not doing enough yeah. that prompted her husband to, to go, go after an, another else. woman. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then if she found out, she could sit, he's her husband, she could sit him down. What? Me karasa. Yeah. 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 And they can have a matured conversation. And they can work out things. Often, we men, we have this problem where we try our possible best to avoid conflict with our wives. Because whenever a marriage ends, it is automatically assumed it is the husband's it's fault. False. And sometimes we men take that brunt because this is our society, especially the North, doesn't judge men and women equally. No. There's something as a man that I can do. And get away with it. Yeah. I can I can be a drunk. Yeah. I can I can be, I can chase women left and right. I can do all of that. But I will get married again. And mm. you'll be judged yeah. for it. You'll yeah. be judged for it. But a woman whose marriage ends as a result of infidelity, if word goes out that Ansekita Sabodatana have been winning our gene, no man in his right mind is going to marry yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's so beautiful. that that is just it. So there is a weighing of options and I feel men are simple creatures. Yeah. It takes very, very little to make us complacent. But I feel like Mubarak was saying the issue of feminism, woman power. Yes. And <laughs> <laughs> woman power. Yes. And, <laughs> and, yeah, and all of that. Yeah. No, I think that, that, that mindset. Quality. They have a wrong perception yeah. about yeah. that. that yes. mindset. I think more awareness should be created. Yeah. Maybe I think a campaign, I think awareness. They have a wrong perception about that. There's a difference that. between gender equality and being submissive. Yeah. yeah. No, you see, there's another issue, which I don't think is appropriate to discuss here, that makes people, that make women think that Mazabas is about. What was, was that? Most especially in the North. Okay. The women she's after women. Like, let's bring back social media. Okay. You will see a girl who is probably plain looking. Yeah. Will have hundreds and thousands of followers. Men sending her hundreds of DMs every day. Yeah. This girl is probably someone you will not look at twice. But the fact that social media has made her think that every single man in the world wants her. Wants her. Yeah. It sets this mindset so, that uh, she can have any man she wants, she, she wants. can do anything she wants. Hence, now she makes her. Yeah. You see? Or maybe she has somebody better than that. Yes. She has, she has them. She, yeah, has, she them has a in, lot of the, a lot of them, yeah. a lot of them, and stage by stage, mm -hmm. according to their maybe money, status. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, I. And then let <laughs> us let us face it. It's unfortunate. It's highly unfortunate. But abunda and matang ariosi ke isabu lokudi. Nenda ba oshi ke chwane abun karima ba zichwa. Oh, that's that's very disgusting. disgusting. Yeah. So you see. That changes the mindset. She's on social media. You can sit with a normal girl in a day. She can get a hundred calls from a normal I want to ask, I'm a normal I want it. Yeah. You see? That thing. And... Makes her like have this... That she can do better. Echo, you understand? Like, like, so many people telling you, it's, it's yeah. normal for a girl and, to be compliment. That compliment makes the her... The desperation of Mazan Ariwa. Okay, when you say just a beautiful girl? Yes, when damaging I remember much. After my father. Cool. Papa. Wow. Eh, that he is willing to do anything to get her. Right. Uh, not married. We are not talking about marriage. Marriage, uh, marriage is, usually, is usually the last yeah. thing to come. Yeah, when he, he is he is willing to spend millions just to get what he wants. Okay. And how is that girl going to He's probably her father's age mate. Mm. How is that girl going to value a man on any basis other than money? Yes, she won't. Yes, yeah, she won't. She, she won't. And that, anyone that is actually ready to spend such like mm. huge amounts of money on a girl, we definitely have to be her father's. Okay, the young guys started. When have they started or when have they spent that money? So, those kind of money is so around. You see, this girl is used to hanging out with her father's age mates. Mate. You as a young guy. 
looking for marriage? When will she have time for you? No, there can't be when time. Will she and she'll feel like respect? she's more powerful than you. Yeah, well, so we are talking of issue of respect. So oh. that ego, that feeling, usually when you marry a girl, it's not everyone. Everyone is spread differently. When you get yeah. married to a girl yeah. and she has the feeling that you are interested in another woman, instead of her to do what she's supposed to do, to, to get, get back your to attention, attention. some, like this one, she will kill the husband. Yeah. Some will say they will stay. And some will say they will get back at you. By cheating. But the same way, yeah, the same yeah. way. And you hurt me. like I said, that's the standard. If a woman does that in a marriage, she's probably the worst person ever. That's I'm not saying this is no, not that's opinion. society. That's a society's that's opinion. Enough. You as a man, you can go after any woman you want. That she, I mean, the yeah, sure, highest. Yes. So the thing is, I think women should be more concerned about how to keep their men at home. Yes. Then being engaged in battle of the sexes mm. being uh, engaged in yeah, as much as talking I with you who is i also it. have something to say you mm. see um most of the men i'm a woman mm. you get i'm speaking in my own opinion like we know how much we try to keep our husbands at home you understand some men you can't just please them you get you do all it takes to make sure they are at home or they don't do that, but they still do it. No matter how much you try. So the only saving grace you have is to have this fear of God and the fact that my man is actually entitled to more than a wife. Okay, yeah. That could actually console you and calm that anger and jealousy that is in your heart as a woman. Because it's not all men that actually are flexible. Some men are very complex. Some men are very hard to do it. You get so I think that's the only thing which we need. We need yeah, that fear of God. So that Allah we can give him a car. The earlier we actually accept the fact you are okay, he is my husband, but he's entitled to marry more. The better for us. I think it's going to make a lot of things easier. Yes. He should then will just have to be in a very very respectful yeah, way. Yeah, but uh, there's something. I'm a man. Yes. I hang out with a lot of men, and I know. I would like to say I'm confident I know how men think. For example, Idam Bahaushi, Yaurika Dila. There's someone I know who in Kano who got married to I think a Bendelite. This woman I think has been dead for years, Yakasa Karaori. Okay. Yeah. Because in his opinion, no woman can ever meet up. To mm. her standards. Okay, okay. There's another thing. There's this story. Who I'm not going to mention names. There's no this problem. very very popular man in Quarry Market, who had three wives. Okay. Three house wives. He married an 18 year old Shua Arab girl. In three months, he sacked all those three wives. His okay. reasoning was <laughs> yes, that, reasons. in his words, not mine. That we send up a poem as an Oh my God! <laughs> so you see, the thing is, when it comes to northerners, we ha- we have the highest rate of divorce. Yeah. In well, any true. Muslim society mm. in oh. the world, but the reason is number one. Yeah. Maza, man, the ruang idu. Yeah. Had a serious <laughs> <Ruang Ido>. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the problem with Ruan Ido, she and Zamala Bahoshi, Takakari Purin say Yaza and Yagara. Yeah. That is our only aim in life. Yeah. Although I won't call myself I'm Fulani, but I live in the north, so yeah. I will identify. Yes. Yes. Also. Yeah. Uh that is his only when Kuma Aurisek. Yeah. Yeah. And the reason why most marriages fail nowadays is because both the men and the women have become too selfish to accommodate each other. Each other. Okay. Everyone wants to do what they want and they want the other person to be okay with oh, it. Wow, compromise. No, no compromise. compromise. And actually, um, compromise is actually work. one of the yardsticks for you to have a successful marriage. marriage. Exactly. So at the end of the day, the woman is not ready to do what is necessary to keep her man. And the, like you said, there are more women than men out there. Yeah, sure. And the man thinks he has options. 
and they have very fragile egos. They're kind of easily bruised. Yeah, like like in the akak, one of my say in the makakai, two in our makaji. Kamar abu masani ahanam, which you don't Yeah. Yeah. Well, like a plaything, and much in the same end that you do yaka. Say at a part of the catch, I eat a man little. You're in trouble. Because let's put this blunt we're all adults here. Yeah. It only takes two things to keep a man. While I agree with you, I don't agree with you that whatever you do for a man, it won't be enough. Only two but things. But actually very complex, <laughs> my friend. Only two <laughs> things. Mother, 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 <laughs> I understand. There are actually some very complex men. You they are not flexible. You can't but bend them. Yeah, no matter like, what you do, is that you still have no. Yeah, but no matter what you do, you just those can't are, bend them. Those are the exceptions to the rule. But generally, yes. yeah. generally, see, generally, most men are influenced by two things. Usually, okay. that's not that much. Good food, good sex. Yeah. Those two things. Idamma chana umujinta. Angama. <laughs> Generally, well, I'm, I'm sure. Good food and good sex is actually the most important things yes. you should keep in your yes. marriage. Okay, 90%. viewers, um, bari, yeah. let me bari mm. nyanki kaso, we can just take a quick mm. break. Viewers, the program is still Spice24, and if you're just joining us, we have been discussing on social media, we've been discussing in solidarity to Bilia Aminu's demise, and then we've been talking a lot of things. We've been looking at the possible reasons why she should have done, why, why she did what she did. We talked about discipline, that is terrible. We talked about um, reasons why you shouldn't even think of infidelity in the first place. And then Mala Abdukar, Mala Abdukar Kabiru just said there are two major important things in marriage, good food and good sex. We're going to take a short break now and we'll come back. We'll be picking up from where we start. Thank you. Allahumma inna ka'afuun tuhibbul afwa fa'afu anna. Allahumma inna ka'afuun tuhibbul afwa fa'afu anna. اللهم إنك عفو كريم تحب العفو فاعف عنا اللهم إنا نسألك الهدى والتقى والعفاف والغنى اللهم أسعدنا بتقواك واجعلنا نخشاك كأننا نراك اللهم آت نفوسنا تقواها وزكها أنت خير من زكاها أنت وليها ومولاها اللهم إنا نسألك خشيتك في الغيب والشهادة وكلمة الحق في الغضب والرياء Welcome back viewers, we're still on the program Spice 24 and then because we're running out of time we're just going to be rounding up with our guests in the house on the issue we are, dis we are discussing on today which is um, social media and then of course we told you in solidarity with the demise of Bilia I mean and so now we you're just going to be I'm just going to be asking my guests um, the final opinion and views on recapping this whole thing about why women do what they do reasons is it actually worth it is it not worth it what are the measures we could actually take in order to prevent this kind of things because anyone can actually be a victim in as much as we're not justifying the actions of um Mariam Sanda we're actually trying to we will also give her a benefit of that by letting her letting us in her shoes that's what's called empathy, letting her in our shoes and see what could be the possible reasons why she did what she did. And then if there are reasons to why she did what she did, what could have been the possible measures that she should have taken and then it wouldn't have landed her in this um, whole mess. Today, Mariam is a world celebrity just because of a very ugly act. A stigma that's going to be on her, it's going to be on her daughter, it's going to be on her family. Like before we went on a break, we we're talking about how somebody called and was trying to confirm Chewa, who is even her father, the Inata Pitu, the and all that you know as a stigma that goes that goes around her it's not just Mariam her family is going to be involved the child she gave birth to is going to be involved when tomorrow comes and the baby is ready to get married nobody wants to marry a child of a killer you know and even she it's something she will have to live with it for the rest of her life I'm not even sure she was able to sleep all through yesterday because <clears throat> personally to me I don't even think I will sleep for the rest of my life that's the honest truth so we're just going to be looking at all these we we'll just recap and let's have the final opinion and views on this so um welcome back my guests and so now like i said we're just going to have a recap on what we've discussed already um, looking at the possibility the reasons why she did what she did and the measures she should have taken and maybe this whole thing wouldn't have happened 
and then I remember before we went on um, break, you made mention of um, food and sex, and then the way um, people think, the way the ladies of nowadays think, is actually different from what happened before. Our fathers actually, like Man Bakaja was trying to talk about how a northern Ariwa woman wants to see his wife all covered, you know, these, these, and yeah. all that. He was, you know, and then I remember what Abdul Kadir said. He said, it's not the same mm. with today. You know, the that man. might happen with, that might have happened with our fathers, but the northern Ariwa men of today actually wants to be, wants you to be that typical slave woman in his home and not the way we grow up seeing our fathers and our parents do. So I would just like the audience to quickly hear from you individually your takes on this Well, all. to quickly wrap things up, uh, good men mm. should be good to their wives and good women should be good to their husbands. Okay. And once you feel you're not happy for the divorce, yeah. bad really. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think purpose we should know what we're here for. Rushing rushing karatong adini, the rushing alien they come at Because you lose your purpose and what you're here for that you're ready to throw away everything for what you want for sons which are which is wrong, which I think this is what we should look into. The asamu and asamu ilimi adini de kamata ilimi ne boko de kamata the sending de kamata knowing why you're here and what you're here for because we're losing that to be honest. Well, I would say girls should women should stay away from bad jealousy. How sas na jabe kinkish? Whatever the case is. You're married to your husband, you took taking all the vows, you should stay with him Allah between you and your God and in accordance to the religion and humanity. It's good to be jealous of what you love. But the fact that it can ruin your life and ruin the life of people around you is not acceptable. So we should try to take it slow with our jealousy, ladies. Yeah. Thank you guys, thank you very much for being part of the show. I know this uh, conversation has actually been very impactful and helpful on our use, on our viewers out there. I thank you so much for being part of the show. I really appreciate your being here. You're welcome. Um, Abdul Kader Kabiru is a media um, content creator and then Mubarak is a media builder. consultant and <laughs> media consultant and a builder. a builder, an architect. And of course, everybody knows Khadija. Khadija is our beautiful on-air personality for the program. Too many programs on Twitter <laughs> TV, I'm sure. Okay, viewers, and this is where we bring in the, we draw in the curtains for today's program. It's been Spice24. Please don't forget to subscribe subscribe to our channel on YouTube, follow us on Instagram, and like our page on Facebook. I still remain your host, Safiya Omar. Until next week, stay blessed. <laughs> اللهم إنك عفو كريم تحب العفو فاعف عنا اللهم إنا نسألك الهدى والتقى والعفاف والغنى اللهم أسعدنا بتقواك واجعلنا نخشاك كأننا نراك اللهم آت نفوسنا تقواها وزكها أنت خير من زكاها أنت وليها ومولاها اللهم إنا نسألك خشيتك في الغيب والشهادة وكلمة الحق في الغضب والرضا